Hey, what's up? I'm here with the early birthday girl, Katy Perry. So, what do you want for your birthday? Oh. Ooh. Thank you so much for letting me host your event. Thank so you. cool. Thank you. You've got such a bright light about you, a wonderful positive energy, and ah. so you bring even more um, prismatic colors to the stage. Ah, yeah. thank you very much. I appreciate it. I want to talk about the album for a second because it's really like a journey, um, what's been going on with your life, but also musically because it starts off, you know, uh, of course with Roar, I know it's the first track, and then you go through a lot of like, very powerful ballads and it starts getting a lot of fun. And yeah. it starts getting, you know what I mean? And so it's really like a- There's a, a lot of variety. Yeah, a lot of variety. Yeah. So just uh, talk to me Almost about- Almost too much. <laughs> well, no, no, but I think it's cool because there's a little something for everyone. But talk to me exactly. about- uh, I know initially you <laughs> started talking about like you were uh, going to sing about some dark places and stuff, but it ended up being a celebration of light, yeah. hence Prism. Yes. Um, well, when I started the record in November of 2012, um, I was kind of in a, a darker place in my life and just um, had a little bit of my self-confidence shattered. And so I was trying to build it back up and I wrote this song, By the Grace of God, which was about me having a lot of negative thoughts in my mind. Um, but then you hear me find my strength um, and uh, throughout the message of that song. And um, I come out in the end, all right, okay. But um, I wrote most of the songs in the spring of this year. And um, that was influenced by a time in my life where I did a lot of inward seeking, of, a lot of self um, reflection, kind of um, doing this, what I call patchwork you know, little things that need to be fixed or healed. And that was just me being good to myself, going on a complete cleanse, um, doing some therapy, going on hikes with my friends and um, just letting a lot of love into my life yeah. and a lot of light. And uh, I know it sounds very hippie, but um, just kind of figuring out self-love first and foremost. How was it working with John Mayer on this album? I mean, he's a really talented guy. Well, actually we did a song for his album um, and we would uh, we were recording around the same time, writing and recording around the same time with our records. So it was always like popping by the studios, each other's studios, yeah. and just like come over for dinner or something or check in. And um, we did an incredible duet um, called Who You Love that um, is a beautiful song I'm so proud of because people hear it and they hear a different side of me. They almost hear like a more raw, organic um, side of me. And yeah. so you have to hear it. It's called Who You Love. Is it easier going out with a fellow musician? You know, I think that like, there's a lot of understanding when you get home and you say, uh, you know, I had a pretty crappy show. It's not like you have to sit there and explain why yeah. for an hour. They're like, oh yeah, I understand because I've had one too. Yeah, I get it. Um, and so there's a lot more understanding of context and yeah. that's very nice. And also you get to share music. Like yeah. when you discover some band that you love, you're like, you have, you sit them down and you show them and you know, the dance parties are much more fun. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for watching Extra on YouTube. And for updates on the latest celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. Yes, and if you want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Below. <laughs>